My educational app recording is on commonlit.org. Um, this website is designed to pair text with reading levels and themes and state standards uh, so students can learn more about them and teachers don't have to find them on their own. So it's really useful. So right now I'm logged in as a teacher and um, over here in your profile you can um, see your classes. So what you do is you make, um, well, if it's going to work, there you go, uh, you make a class um, for each of the periods that you teach and then you have students um, who sign up for them. So you see here I teach five classes. I have five classes signed up and I only have students in this one here, junior high history. Um, they sign up via a unique link or class code. Um, so you can find assignments that are appropriate for them. Um, so we'll get back to this page. But So let's say we're doing a unit on World War I in history, uh, which is something that we did not too long ago. And I want to bring in some things from English, and I want my junior hires to focus on theme. Um, so I think I want them to read the poem Flanders Fields, but it's not in our textbook. So I'm going to search it. You can see I've already done this today. Uh, the internet's kind of slow today because of the weather. Maybe. There we go, in Flanders Fields. So I click on it, and it lets me, it gives me some background information, which will show to the students, and then it um, shows the short poem here. These numbers, they correspond to their definitions and further explanation, and students can also, um, they have questions that they have to respond to. So question one is, which statement best describes the scene depicted in stanza one? And so students get to pick. Okay, so incorrect answer. Um, so students get to um, pick the answer, things like that. Um, if I want to put something else with this, it gives me the option of paired text, other texts that it thinks are appropriate to go with this poem. Also, media. Um, so here I have the option of some informational text and a recording that I can show to my students beforehand. It also provides a teacher's guide to the poem and a parent guide to send home to the parents to let them know what we're talking about in class. So I think that's really cool. But I can also, so I've assigned this poem to my students and I want them to read it. See, I want them to read it in junior high history, and I've added something, I've added some informational text as well. Um, so you can see that it's assigned. So I'm going to show you what it looks like from a student point of view. Here we go. I am logged in as a fake student. Um, go back to the home page. And so assignments. It says, oh look, these assignments are due, I said they're due April 28th, and I'm going to start with Flanders Fields first. So it gives us the background information right here, and it's noting that what you're looking for is how imagery affects the tone and themes of a poem. So I have it set up so it only shows one stanza at a time. Um, you can have this set up to read the poem for you. You can look up words. You can make the font bigger. Um, and then when you get to the end of the stanza, the student clicks on the question. And so the student has read it, and they think that this is about a soldier dying in the poppy field. So it says it's incorrect, and we move on, okay? So and then after you answer the question, um, new ones come up. So what's cool about this as a teacher, let me move back to the teacher view, is I can see student progress. Right now it looks, says that no one's done anything because I just started this. But you can track student progress and you can grade assignments straight from this app. So not only are you getting interdisciplinary units, but you're also able to see how students are performing. You can give them feedback. Um, I wish I had known about this sooner in my classes. I like that it's not just tied to English. Um, you can tie it to just about any subject. Um, I think I'll definitely be using this next year. But... Um, 
So this is really emphasizing literacy across the board. And so, so not only am I gauging students' literacy, but I'm also able to tie literacy directly into what we're studying in different subjects. So definitely something you should check out.